Hey, Snow's here, and uh, there's something wrong with the lighting. Uh, Skyla, turn on tower LED. Okay. Thank you, girl. Hey, what's up guys? Snow's here, and today we're reviewing the new, not the old one, the new Sunix RGB controller. Now you might ask, what's the difference? Well, the new one is a dollar more on Amazon, and it has a new shell. Is that it? No. The new one is compatible with Google, Google Home and Alexa. Stop. I'm sorry everyone at home, I'll make sure I bleep all of my lamps. Stop. So you might ask, why did you buy this thing, Snows? Well, if you're like me, you like to have RGB for days. I mean, take a look at this wall. It's pretty much all RGB. I have a Philips Hue bulb that I got on sale on this tower and on this tower. But on my couch, the lighting that is behind it is actually an RGB strip that costs about 25 bucks. And that RGB strip comes from a kit that you have probably used if you've ever touched an RGB strip. This kind of kit. You get an RGB strip, the power for it, an RGB controller, and a remote. And that last part is the problem. The remote. You only have one. If you lose it, you're doomed. But if you're like me and you have tons of them, then you have way too many remotes. And I mean way too many. Here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four, here's five, here's six, here's seven, here's eight, here's nine, here's ten, here's eleven, here's twelve. And you might be saying, hey, you're just picking up the same remote over and over. Am I though? Am I though? But the problem goes a little further. The main problem is the fact that it uses IR, which means that you have to point exactly at the light for it to be able to work. Well, not at the light, but at the little sensor. And in my case, it's behind the couch, so I had to go super low or to the side to try and turn it on or change the colors. And that got annoying really quickly. So instead of dealing with those issues, I decided to buy the Sunix RGB controller. The Sunix device is a five channel controller. That means it could control a red, a green, a blue, that's your RGB strip, a white channel, but a warm white and a cold white, thus the five channels. And it controls all of them at the same time. The great thing is that it can work with any LED strip, so any existing ones that you have, you can connect to that device as long as it's between 12 and 24 volts. The only issue I have with it is that it doesn't come with any power adapters or RGB LED strip. But think about it. You buy one of these for about 15 bucks, you get a power adapter, RGB strips, and if you have some left over, you can use the controller and the remote on this one to add to your system. I had to disconnect the module just to show you this next part. You see that little part here, that little connector, RGB strip connector that I have here? It doesn't come with the Sunix, but when you buy an LED spool like this, you actually have two of these connectors on each end of the strip. So you just have to cut one of those and hook it up to your Sunix. All in all, that means you spend about $35 to $40 for an RGB system that works with your phone, your Echo, your Google Home, compared to the Philips Hue, which is 90 bucks. That is $50 in savings right away. I mean, what's better than going to bed and instead of turning off all of the light switches or going onto your phone to, to turn off all of your lights, you just say, uh, Skella, turn off living space. Okay. Th those lights run on batteries, so I can't turn them off like that. Let me show you how to set it up since the product page description on Amazon is, well, wrong. Download the S Panel app on your iOS or Android device. Open it, press the plus on the top right, and click on Connect Light to Wi Fi Network. Once that's done, you're gonna go into the settings of your device, into the Wi Fi, and you're gonna click on the device that starts with LED Net. That's your Sunix controller. Now keep in mind that this device will work on 2.4 gigahertz band, which means that as long as your router has a 2.4 and a 5 gigahertz band, you're gonna have no issue connecting it to your Echo. Once it's connected, go back into your S Panel app, press confirm, give it a name, and you're pretty much set in terms of being able to control it from your phone. Now if you wanna connect it to your Echo, it's pretty simple too. Click on the little gear icon on the top left of the S Panel app and sign in to your account or create a new S Panel account. Once that is done, you actually get control over your device from anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. But we're not done yet. You're gonna go into your Amazon app and you're gonna go ahead and download the Magic Home skill. That's very important because on the product page it says to download the S Panel skill but it doesn't exist. So you download the Magic Home Scale and you log in using your S-Panel Cloud account. 
At that point, the skill will be installed. You can ask your Echo to discover new devices and it will find the light. And that's pretty much it. The only hiccup I have with this is that you can't control the lighting system using the Echo. You can only control the brightness, you can't control the colors and things like that. But that doesn't mean you can't control the lights. On your phone, you have full control over the RGB, WW, and WC channel. That's the warm white and cold white. I mean, this device is so much cheaper than the Philips Hue that if you're considering doing any project with LED strips, this is definitely your best bet for a controller if you want something that's completely wireless that you don't have to worry about. For example, I plan on pretty much switching everything in my studio that uses LED strips with this system so I can just ask my Echo to turn on and off the devices and my phone to be able to change the color. There's also tons of effects that you can actually apply to the LED strip through the app, the S-Panel app. And it's pretty extensive in terms of what you can do with it. You can use the link down below if you wanna give me a small kickback cause that uses my Amazon affiliate. So all in all, I've found a solution that's finally gonna let me say goodbye to the dozens of RGB LED remotes that I have here at home. If you'd like to help fund this channel, go ahead and become a patron. Link down in the description. It'd be greatly appreciated. And I want to thank my one and only current patron, Philinkos. Thank you very much. I see you haven't pulled out your donation. Greatly appreciated. So that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Have yourselves an amazing day. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how much RGB on a scale of 1 to 10 do you have in your home. Leave a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and uh, click right here to see my custom PC case. I've put a lot of work into this video, and it would be greatly appreciated if you watch it, if you haven't already. Right here is going to be a mystery video, not sure what it's going to be, and right here to subscribe to the channel. I've got so much, like honestly, all of this side is RGB, and all of this side is super like wood and stuff, and it doesn't look that great.